Whiskey vending machine. This is our blending suite, it's a private tasting room. Whiskey bar. Whiskey house. All right guys, Craft Whiskey Boys here again. I'm here with Mo, Sully, and we're actually here with a gentleman by the name of Matt from a cool bar called Black Rock. This bar is on most lists as the number one bar for whiskey in London. Class Magazine themselves have, uh, you know, consecutively for the last three years have recognised us as the best whiskey bar in London. So. Here at Black Rock is to make whiskey accessible to everybody. We were sort of a little bit tired of the pretentious snobbery that you tend to get in whiskey bars. So no bagpipes, no tartan. We only play hip hop. Lovely. Four floors currently, nice. soon to be five floors. Of got, whiskey. Of whiskey. So we've got <laughs> hotel rooms, we've got a blending suite where you can make your own whiskey. We've got the taverns, a bit more informal, and then we've got the full whiskey lounge. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. All right, man. Nice. Let's go check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, man. Show us around. Please. Come on. Thank you. This is a 185 year old English oak tree, naturally felled and turned into a three ton table. It genuinely nearly killed the man that made it. Because um, as you can imagine, trying to get it down those stairs is not an easy feat. <laughs> it's meant to show how important oak is to the aging process for whiskey. Uh, so to sort of visualize that, we've got two whiskies aging in the table under glass that you can order from taps at the end. So two channels cut in. This channel is lined with charred American oak and this channel is lined with toasted limousine. So two common- we in here right In here. You, you can see the wood channel on the edge. It's okay. Like That's whiskey in the middle. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of like a trough, but it's, it acts exa exactly the same way as a barrel. We have the table whiskies. Uh, next we have our library. So we've got between three and 400 bottles normally uh, in the library. And it's, again, everything's arranged by flavor. So six cabinets labeled smoke, fruit, balance, fragrance, spice, and sweet. With every whiskey matching that flavor profile in one way or another. And then the height of the whiskey in the cabinet is how intense it is. So really heavy, meaty stuff is gonna to be towards the bottom, lighter, more delicate stuff towards the top. Uh, which means you can know absolutely nothing about whiskey. You come in here and say, do you know what, I want something light and fruity. You can go to fruit, go to light, any of those, you're fine. This is a Chichiboo. Uh, we've had Chichiboo before at the Bull and China shop, but this is their Chichiboo. So tell us a little bit about this one. Every year, specialized drinks allow certain casts to certain clients. Uh, we're obviously pretty good clients of them. <laughs> it's where we buy our whiskey. Um, so they offered us up a, a half cask of our own Chichiboo, uh, which we bought and bottled ourselves. Well, they bottled for us, which you can buy through the bar. Um, we normally just sell it by the dram. Um, you are able to buy bottles, but it's under the strict rule that we have to sell them opened because whiskey is for drinking, not for flipping. So, whiskey vendor machine, what's it all about? Yeah, so we have a whiskey subscription business called Whiskey Me. Uh, the idea is you pay $7.95 a month, so it's cheaper than Netflix, and we send you a large dram of whiskey in the post. This is our blending suite, it's a private tasting room, and in here we are currently have going a, a make your own whiskey class. Uh, so we sit you down, we taste a variety of different Scotch whiskies, and you learn where certain flavour profiles come from, how they're uh, made in the production process. With that knowledge, we help you build your dream whiskey and then help you create your dream whiskey. So, yeah, I'm here with James, Jason, and Rob, and these guys are actually uh, doing the blending class right now. So, we were speaking to Matt, and he was telling us, you know, they kind of take you through a little journey. They see, you know, from sweetness all the way up to smokiness, find out what your kind of palate is, and then blend it from there. Like, what's your experience been so far? Uh, amazing, yeah. I mean, the guys are really knowledgeable. They talk to us through all the different flavor profiles. We got to try all the different types of whiskey, which is great. And we, we managed to sort of make our own blend and adjust into our own taste and palate. So. Brilliant. Good experience, yeah. And they tell you about the history of whiskey yeah. and everything. It's quite nice to reveal, actually, these are different types of elements in the whiskey that we're quite keen on. And it was good to be guided into how to blend, essentially, our ultimate whiskey. Everyone knows that I like old fashioned, so Matt's gonna talk me through his map. We have four different whiskies that we age on site in casks that are just above the bar. Double aging system. Uh, just to pack a little bit more sweetness into there, which is obviously perfect for any sort of old fashioned whiskey. Uh, four different varieties here. We've got a couple of single malts and some bourbon. 
So we're gonna, I'm gonna pick two, and Mo and I are gonna drink them. Yeah, yeah sure. Mo's quite experimental, so I think he should go for the Guinness finish. I mean, have a, have a smell and see which uh, which ones tickle your fancy on the nose. I know already which one I want to. I like Negronis, so I'm probably gonna do this one myself. Guinness or stout cards, and we all know Mo loves Guinness and old fashions. Obviously, you know me very well. I like something that's a bit out of the ordinary. So I know it's obviously you don't use any orange peel. Uh, it's only kind of touched on that already. Well, it seems like from what you told me, they use an infused uh, spray that's reduced from orange peel, whiskey, and water. That way, they cut down on economically on using so many oranges in a week and they can bring it down to two oranges, is that right? Yeah, pretty much. Wicked. And it's just bloody cool as well, so, so have a lot of it. Well, let's try it. Oh, well then. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what you want out of Old Fashioned Bob. I chose this one because I'm a, a big fan of Negronis. Negroni and Old Fashioned are my two favourite cocktails, so uh, the mood is all over Negronis. But you never, you never really get it in an old fashion, so I thought I'd see what it's like. That's really good. That is really good. This one's better. I think this one's better. Yeah, definitely. You can definitely taste the vermouth more than you could the Guinness on the previous one. Whiskey bar. Whiskey house. The whiskey experience. Honestly, one of one of the uh, one of the best whiskey bars we've been to. Hands we've up. been to a lot of good bars, but this one kind of takes it to a different level. The, the attention to detail. So if you're in London and you're looking for somewhere to bring a loved one, a friend, a date, this is the place to come, in my opinion. I'll be bringing back friends here, so make sure you give the guys a follow. Check out what they're doing with their subscription services, and most importantly, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.